I've had a couple of requests to do this video with audio, uh, and I figured why not. Today I'm going to go through a couple of neat tricks that I really like in Clip Studio Paint. First off, removing the background from a JPEG so that you can have uh, just the line art. Secondly, uh, locking transparent pixels and using that to then color line art. So here we have one layer, um, it's on blue paper here, and we can see it's got a white background behind it. It's, uh, it's just a normal raster layer. If you'd imported an image, you could uh, rasterize it. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to edit, and we're going to go convert brightness to opacity. So what that's done there is because this layer just has black on it, uh, it's converted the black to 100% opacity and the white it's turned to zero opacity. And what that's done is it made it transparent. This is really good for if you've been sent the line art from someone and they've not exported it properly as a PNG, just to quickly get your lines isolated. Next up, we're going to click this uh, lock transparent pixels button here. And what that's going to do is allow us, when we draw on this layer, let's say we want to turn it into a fetching dark blue, uh, it will not overflow anything. That's a bit too subtle actually, let's make it less, less so. So I can now go through here and color all these lines without spilling over. Uh, really useful for me when I'm shading. Uh, and then if you ever want to make more, more changes to the layer, you can just unlock the pixels whenever you like. And then you can add to that layer. Uh, and that was me undoing that there. Uh, you can also um, use gradients. So if we wanted to make these uh, lines rainbow here, I'm doing a rainbow gradient on the locked layer. Doing the, uh, the rainbow gradient normally would fill the whole screen. But because it's on the locked, locked line art, it looks quite fetching like that. And if we uh, set the background to black, that's pretty snazzy, huh? 